Before I get into the video, I just want y'all to take a look at the date face. You see how happy she is. It seemed like she had a good time. You know what I mean? And by the tone of his voice, it's like he had a good time too. But it seemed like the night was spoiled. You know what I mean? Because he had that mindset that was Shannon Shaw was speaking on. Like, if I buy you lobster, you come back to my crib. And sometimes having that mindset as the end goal, the expectation, you know what I mean? You don't anger is going to come out, come about you if, if you, um, don't get what you was looking for. But without further ado, let's get the video started. <laughs> uh, yeah. My bad, my bad. All right. How did it? Had a good top and a pop this off with a dope or nine minutes. It's embarrassing me. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, Coming back yeah. to the crib, though, right? Yeah, I gotta go back. I gotta get back home. What you mean you gotta. What you mean you gotta get back home? What you mean? What you, what you mean? What you mean? What I mean? What you mean? Get back home? We like went on our date you said you was coming to the crib. Go. What you getting all aggressive for? It ain't even like that. But you said you said we coming to the crib. Like so, I'm trying to figure out. No. Like when, that's when what I'm putting in the that? GPS. When did, no, you're not. You're taking me to my house. You don't want to. You don't want to. My own smoke. I don't need to go <sighs> smoke with you. I didn't ever say I was going back to your house. So what's up with all that? All that. Oh, I can't handle What's that. What you were saying life? in the messages. Oh, uh, I can't handle that. Oh, I ain't going to be able to like, what you mean? Like, you can't come to the crib? So, as you see right there, it seemed like they did have some conversation about going back to the crib. You know what I mean? But people, you know what I mean? They, they change their minds all the time. You know what I mean? Some person might want McDonald's, but then but while they going out to get the McDonald's, they might want Burger King. And was the context talking about after they date, or was she just talking in general? If she just wanted to talk like that, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't have the expectation. You hear me? Let's keep, let's keep it going. The crib now? All oh, that you can't. What happened to that? What happened to that? Now y'all know. Now y'all know what I'm talking about. Now y'all know what I'm talking about. So I can reach to my phone and, and show you where you were saying I can't handle that. Are oh, you this, you that? Oh, it's that way, way. But now, now you can't go back to the crib. We just went to this fancy, nice little spot. You can't go back to the crib. What you mean though? But you roll with me though. But you roll with me though. Take you home. 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 No, it ain't. No, hold on. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Boosie, what? All right. Hold on. Hold on, take you take home. Me back take you, you home. Me. All right, all right. I'm gonna make sure you get back to where you got, where you came from. But you're not finna ride back with me. Hold on. Goddamn. Oh, Con contacting your driver. The, you're finna get this uh, over. Uh, you're finna get this over. Cause why would I drive you home? Why would I drive you all the way back to Lee Summit? 45 minutes away. What you talking about? You finna go back to your house and fucking get because you bought me some food? I mean. And why are you still recording? Get that film out I of mean, here. what you mean now? Now you on some bullshit, so now I gotta make sure they know you getting home safely. Cause oh, I ain't the type of nigga. I could just say get out. But I ain't known that. I'm trying to make sure you get home. 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 No, how you gonna take? How you gonna take? You gonna take me back where you got me from? Uh, Uber on the way. So yeah, I mean, this whole situation, like, they both was being emotional. Which the woman, she's been, you know, she's getting upset because her home is 45 minutes away. He calling her Uber. But for the guy, you kind of can tell that he's kind of upset. You know what I'm saying? You can hear it in his tone of voice. You kind of can hear it like he's kind of repeating himself. Like, the best thing he would have did, like, if he was really, if he was going to get her an Uber, he could have just, you know what I mean, just been cool about it. Like, hey, I'm just going to get you an Uber because this, this, and that. But, you know what I'm saying, his response really showed that he was really angry. You know what I mean? It was, it was a lot of emotional spilling that he was doing right here. So... Um, guys, don't do that. And the thing is, you never fall into this trap. If a person really just go out to restaurants and eat, invite, you know what I mean, whoever you want to invite with you. That way, you won't you won't be upset because that's something that you normally do. You normally go to high end restaurants to eat the food. You know what I mean? You're pretty much a foodie. So, if that's something that you do, that's something that you do. You won't get too upset about. But if you doing this to impress somebody, you know what I mean, to try to get them back home with you. Nine times, I say probably, yeah, nine times out of ten, it's, gonna, it's not going to go according to plan. And some people going to either react like this or they're going to react another way. 
But I'm telling you guys, just kind of keep you cool, but never had an expectation in mind. You know what I mean? You know how like you find things you ain't looking for it? That's one of them things. But let's get back to the video. Yeah, we on the way out right now. We, we waiting on yeah, Uber to come get her. We waiting on Uber to come get her. Because I just took her on a date, and she don't want to come to my house with me, bro. So, yeah, I'm finna leave, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. yeah bro. And as you can see, like, the, the situation was already getting, like, people was expect uh, thinking it was a, a domestic violence situation. Because you see the guy come up to the car, but then he tell a guy that he getting an Uber because she won't come home with him. Like, come on, man. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't do nothing like that. You feel me? Yo, drop that bomb. You can't do things like that. But back to the video. Bro, Uber on the way though. Like what the hook? Like what the hook? Nah, no, don't worry about it. Yo, Uber outside. Yo, Uber outside. Jacob's outside. Jacob has a rob. Jacob has a rob. Jacob has a Where's Jacob? Where's Jacob? Jacob! Get out! Jacob has arrived. Get out! Jacob! Where you at? Jacob! Jacob! She Yo. Fuck you. It's okay. It's okay. I ain't worried about it. Lucky these kids out here. It's all good. All right, it's all good. It's all good. Speaking of kids, my kids are supposed to be everywhere, but you was playing. You was playing. You was playing. How you gonna how you gonna make it seem like you wanted to holler at me like for real like that? But you really just wanted to go out to eat though. You just wanted some food. Oh, let me guess, you can pay for your own food. You, you know what I wanted. I made that clear. We talked about it. Because I wanna make sure you hop in the Uber. I'm trying to make sure you get in your Uber stay. Yeah, so like the Uber got there, you know what I'm saying? He was telling her to get out the car. She got out the car. Then he get out the car and follow her. Like, all right, hey. Like I said, it really shows that he was he was upset. You can tell he really liked this lady. And he was upset because she wouldn't go back to the crib. He could have played it a different way, but this ain't a good look. And then at the same time it's being recorded. You can't do things like this. But let's see. Where are you at? know what I wanted. I made that clear. We talked about it. Because I want to make sure you hop in the Uber. I'm trying to make sure you get in your Uber stay. Where are you at? You, I mean, don't worry about me being safe. You would just take me back. I'm worried about that ass too. What you mean? I mean, what you mean? What you mean? The Uber driver. I'm putting her in the Uber because she won't let me smash, bro. We, we went on a real nice date. We went on a real dope ass date. And she won't let me smash. So she got to go. Make sure she get home safe, big dog. All right? She won't let me smash, so she get the Uber home. I could have left her here, you hear me? All right, then. Y'all be safe, bro. Y'all be safe. Yeah. Yeah, enough of that. So did y'all see how the Uber, Uber driver was just lightweight getting weak on dude? Like, he even tell the Uber driver, like, I got an Uber because she wouldn't let him. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't get down to business, but you can't handle things like that. And then that's going on with that mindset, you know what I mean? Like I said, Sandy Stroud was speaking on it. And then I know on Gil's Arena, like, they kind of spoke on it as well. Like, hey, if I'm taking you here, I'm expecting this. Like, man, you got to go in those situations, especially with dating, but no expectations. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't really trust what's going on. Like he said, they had conversations about it, but, like, was her intent talking about after that date or probably sometime down in the future? You know what I'm saying? It, we don't know. We just I'm just speculating right now. But um, And for my viewers... Hey, let me know what y'all think about the video. Let me know how the, um, about how y'all felt about his reaction, how y'all felt about the lady's reaction. Like, hey, let me know in the comments below. But then I also want to ask y'all opinion about the list that came out. So for those who haven't heard, it was a list that came out. It was of saying where women refuse to go on a first date. So, and here's the list right here. So if you look at some of the top three restaurants, like you got Cheesecake Factory is number one, Applebee's is number two, number three is Chili's, you know what I mean? They got Olive Garden on there. Like, those is pretty much like some common um, first day restaurants, even the movies in the coffee shop. You know what I'm saying? I wanna know what do y'all think about um, those items on this list of saying like women refuse to go to? I think that if you if it's a first date, I think you're just trying to get to know somebody. You know what I mean? That doesn't necessarily mean that you're coming out of your pockets. Like, you got to pay to get to know somebody. Do I, I don't really agree with that. I do agree that you want to get to know the person first. You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure, like, that y'all vibing to even go to a expensive restaurant. And then sometimes 
expensive restaurants are just what it is expensive that don't mean that it's gonna be good like sometimes you be seeing like a lot of um fancy cakes or a lot of fancy food it the presentation looks good but when you go and taste it it's not it's not really that good so i want to know what y'all think about this list that i'm showing up here right now i'm gonna leave it up here for a second so y'all can kind of can see what's on there but i do want to know y'all thoughts about this and i want to know y'all comments and i want to know y'all thoughts about modern day dating you know what i mean the dating world today so thank you guys for listening until next time let's roll